Hey guys, Jonathan here, and welcome to the holiday edition of the best tech under 100. So first up, I know a ton of you guys out there shoot video, and this is the Rode Video Micro, which is a compact microphone that's gonna increase your audio quality without breaking the bank. Now this thing is small, like really small, so that means it's not gonna add any bulk to your setup, and for under 100 bucks, it's a really complete package. You obviously get the microphone itself, the 3.5 millimeter audio cable, which you'll use to connect to the camera, and then both a shock mount and a windscreen, which helps tremendously outdoors. Now what's awesome is that this is powered by your camera, so you're not gonna have to worry about messing around with batteries. And more importantly, this sounds great, better than I would've expected for the price. So this is with the microphone attached. Obviously the audio is gonna sound good, but as far as the video goes, this is Ralphie's shot. He has to take charge with video, so you guys judge him and judge him hard. So this is with the microphone detached, and you should hear a huge difference in the audio quality. Actually with a camera like the RX-10, which I'm recording with right now, that microphone is actually geared more to pick up sound on the back side of the camera. So Ralphie? I like 21 choices yogurt. So yeah, I think that made a huge difference and definitely a killer piece of tech for you filmmakers out there. Following that are actually the headphones I was using to monitor sound. These are the Audio-Technica ATH-M30Xs. So if you had been eyeing the ATH-M50Xs but really didn't want to drop that much cash, these are a great alternative. Now the main difference with these is you're getting a slightly smaller frequency range and also smaller drivers, but for the price, they still sound fantastic. They're a super solid option if you do any voiceover work or playing back and editing your videos. And on top of that, they're also great for just straight out listening to music. Now, the only thing that I'm not crazy about is the straight cable, which can get a little messy, but if that doesn't bother you, I would definitely jump on these. Following that is the Voyager 6000 mAh external battery, which is not just an external battery, but a wireless Qi external battery. Now, even though this is the best tech under 100, right now, this is currently under 50 bucks. So if you have a phone that takes advantage of wireless charging, the problem with most wireless solutions is they're not truly wireless. So of course, you do have to charge this up initially, but once you got that juice, this is actually wireless charging. You can, of course, also charge with a traditional USB cable if you want, but if you or someone you know has a phone that supports wireless charging, this looks great, has a solid battery capacity, and really is a must-have piece of tech. Next up is the the Polaroid Cube action camera, which is super compact, a little quirky looking, but surprisingly awesome. This thing is just over a cubic inch and really to me the perfect travel camera for situations where you don't want to bring out your smartphone or your DSLR or your point and shoot just to capture video. And something really unique and what stood out most to me is the fact that this mounts magnetically. So that in combination with the small form factor really allows you to mount this in places that you maybe normally wouldn't have. And the end result of that is some really cool looking shots. Now with this, you have the option to record either 720p or 1080p. This will support micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes, has a ton of mounting accessories. And again, if you do a ton of outdoor activities, this might be the best compact action camera for the money. Last up is the iHome IBT29BC. And ridiculous name aside, this is a glowing Bluetooth alarm clock that'll also charge your phone. Now me, like I'm sure most of you out there are gonna use Bluetooth to transmit music to this, but if you're old school, this also supports FM radio. Sound quality is solid, but really why I picked this is I am a huge fan of mixed lighting and anything that obviously adds color to a setup. Whether you throw this on your desk or on the side of your bed, it's gonna look good. And maybe most importantly, this excels at its main function, which is being an alarm clock. The screen is bright, it's clear, it's easy to read, and really just kind of rounds out this as an entire package. Now, aside from that, that wraps up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go $5 monkey stand on that like button and make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat because that is where I'll be randomly giving away everything you saw in this video video.